Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, putting gloves on, it's cold. It's 20 degrees. It is Thursday morning, it is 7.45. I'm sitting outside my dentist's office. I have an appointment in about 10 minutes. Well, 15, eight o'clock for a cleaning. And I thought I would start the vlog since we're outside of the house. That doesn't happen very often, but I'm just telling you. It is true. Oh, this coat. I love it. I got this coat at Lane Bryant last year. Last year. It is so warm. It's borderline too warm. I mean, can a coat be too warm? Yes. Especially when you're at a season in life where you get warm fast. Which is not overly bad for me. I, I will say I'm blessed in that whole, I'm not having like pouring sweat hot flashes I'm just I get warm and I need to take my coat off so I just do it I spend a lot of time carrying it in the car with me in case I get cold but this morning yes and I love it it's so warm uh, so what's the plan for the week or the rest of the week I don't really have a plan I do need to create two videos, one for keto, because I've had some requests on the keto, how to start keto, or this is going to be how I started keto. And then my January budget recap of the steps and everything I did for that. Those will be two separate videos that will go up later this week. I need to fill my Dollar Tree haul, which will go up. I do have a Valentine's gift basket put together that I want to show you, so we'll do that. So yes, my dentist just got here and she's staring at me because I'm weird. I'm talking to you. There's my dentist. I need to make a dermatologist appointment. I was kind of trying to wait till the COVID wound down, but it doesn't seem to be happening. I'm sure you've noticed in my videos, I get these red, um, it's sun damage. I've been to the dermatologist many times for it. They typically have to burn it off. It's not bad right now, but I'm going to go to a different dermatologist. I wasn't really happy with the last one. If you can see that white, he burned it to the point that I got a blister and it got infected or something happened and it caused a big scar and I'm not real happy about that. I mean, and I know that's a, I'm not saying that that's the problem with the dermatologist. The issue I had is I called their office several times to tell them it was happening and I never received a call back to tell me until I had handled it on my own. And finally, like a week and a half later, I get a call and I'm like, mm, it's good. And I just didn't like his attitude either. When I went in, I had some concerns, like I have some spots. You know, I'm 50, we know this, and I spent the majority of my youth outside in the sun, swimming, beach, playing outside. I burned all the time, all the time. I'm very fair skinned, and so I worry, you know, about cancer popping up and not knowing, like, what is this little spot? I know it's nothing, they've looked at it, but you can see it. So, end of the day I need to find a new dermatologist um, and one that's closer to my house but one that listens to my concerns and doesn't blow me off because I don't like that especially when you're dealing with you know health issues anyway um, yeah getting my teeth cleaned and then I'm not sure what I was thinking but I have a dentist my cleaning at 8 and a conference call at 9 so I did go in my computer office and logged in and have everything ready for me to come back and get ready to go so hopefully I'm gonna do that I put chapstick on before I go to the dentist because if your lips are dry mm, I love this though it was given to us from a vendor but it's the minty balm I love the mint <gasps> speaking of the mint I don't have it with me to show you but remind me I bought at Dollar Tree the Himalayan salt brand of the nasal and I was I walked past it a hundred times because I'm like why would I want to smell salt it's not it's peppermint or mint in some formula 
and it's supposed to help with your stuffy head and it does last night I had a really bad sinus headache the weather's been wonky and I smelled it and it just kind of helped I'm not saying that my nose drained and I was all better but it definitely took the edge off of this the sinus pressure headache and you just smell it remember those old thing those things you used to stick up your nose it's like that but you don't actually stick this up your nose you just smell it <gasps> I have two of them, but I might have to go get more. I don't know how long they last before they dry up. Because I'm assuming there's it's a moist, some type of moisture or oil or something in there, but I'm gonna need another one of those. All right, I guess I should call and let them know I'm here. And hopefully they get me out in 30 minutes so I can go get coffee on my way. But if not, I won't have coffee. I don't like drinking coffee before the dentist. Um, but hopefully I can run through Starbucks before I'm late for my meeting. All right, let's take these off. Gotta go to the doctor. Bye. It's keto cooking time. All right. We're going to make my version, which by the way, this is only my version for like now because I've never done this before, but I want to make a fried pickle. I've heard about it, but we're going to try it my way. So I have one, just one raw egg. I sprinkled in a little garlic powder, salt and pepper, right? Now a typical truffle would just have cheese, but I'm gonna add some dill relish because I don't have any sliced pickles, I know. So we're gonna add some dill relish here. Um, we'll try two spoons for now. I'm trying to get a little bit of the liquid out. You really don't want it too juicy. And then I just mix cheese in with mine. I'm sure there's measurements. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure there's measurements. Everybody does their truffle a little different. Some people add almond flour to it to give it a little, you know, something, something. I, to me, it just adds carbohydrates that I don't need in my life. So, I mean, I use almond flour all the time, but I just didn't feel like it brought too much to this. Uh, maybe little more cheese I just know how I like it to look and then I've heated up my waffle maker and this is a dash waffle maker I broke it I'll probably get a new one I do have the griddle too and I have a grill I really like these little things for individual servings. So I think that's good maybe a little more let's add just a little more pickle I do like a lot of pickle guys so I'm just kind of squeezing out. You can put ooh, jalapenos in here. Do whatever you want. But we're gonna try pickles, dill. Now, there we go. Got my grill set up. How much? I don't know. I always mess up the first ones. I don't say always. Usually I mess up the first one, but I think this is gonna be good. But there is pickle juice in there, so I'm trying not to make it. If you fill it up too much, it'll cook over the side. So we're gonna, I'm gonna clean this up, let this cook, and I'll show you when it's done. They're done. I just wanted to show you what they look like. Pretty crispy. I cut, probably left them in a little longer, but I cut mine one up already. I just made strips. And do you see the green in there? So I think. I will taste it, but I think I would like, I'm going to like it better with real pickles, like sliced pickles. Mmm. Mmm. That would be great bread for like a turkey sandwich with the, I get the dill relish, not the sweet relish because there's no sugar in this. With that, Lord. Mm-hmm. But... I definitely think it would be better with a sliced pickle in it. Or in this case, probably like four sliced pickles. Yeah. But it's good and I'm gonna have it for dinner. All right, I'm hungry. Talk to you later. Good morning. It's Saturday. And I am cleaning up my car. I spilled some coffee. I've had Dunkin' Donuts. Guys, I love Dunkin' Donuts. I would have to say, as much as I drink Starbucks for its convenience to my house, my absolute favorite is Dunkin' Donuts. But, you know, I drink Starbucks a lot because it's 
right by my house. I don't not, I do not dislike Starbucks at all. I just love Duncan. But I think it's because uh, I'm putting my sweetener in. When I was learning to drink coffee, like in college and after I lived in New England and it was all about the just you know, I lived in Massachusetts and it's all about or was, I am assuming it still is all about the Dunkin' Donuts. And it was, that was way before Starbucks was a thing. Cause I won't. So Dunkin', Dunkin' was my thing. It was my jam. And it just holds a very special place in my heart. I know. <sighs> so good. The only thing that's different from, we're gonna drive, from when I was in college, which is the same, I think, for most coffee places. They used to brew hazelnut and vanilla coffee, which is my favorite way to have flavored coffee. It's brewed. Now they add a syrup or, you know, a flavoring liquid of some sort. But the benefit to the Dunkin' is that it's unsweetened. So I don't have to just get sugar free. I can, I think they have multiple flavors, just don't have sweetener in them at all. That's perfect. All right, so right now we are headed to the office. I have to pick up something, I'll show you when I get it. And then I think I'm gonna go to Volunteers of America. I wanna look for something to upcycle, to flip, to make a video on. So I need to do that so that we have a piece that I can do something with. For spring or later winter, I don't know. I always get in a slump this time of year because during the whole, you know, that end of the year holiday rush with fall, Following's giving mess, Following's giving mess time, there's always a craft to be done for, you know, decor, decorations and all of that. I mean, yeah, there's Valentine's Day, but I'm looking to, I want to upcycle something for like my home. So that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm headed to the office. I got to pick up this thing and then I'll show you. Just came out of the office and we got Sherpas. Uh, one of the vendors that we use sends us something every year. I have jackets and fleeces and this is a super nice Sherpa. Yeah. So I grab mine and I grab my co-workers who lives near me so I can drop hers off. Now I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree over here. I haven't, I haven't been in a while. Might as well. It's nine o'clock. And then back to my house or my side of town. But I want to show you what I got. I'll probably wear it today for one of my videos. Don't tell. Alrighty, here's my grocery for the week. I have beef, uh, ground beef in the fridge. I'm gonna make enchiladas and then I'm gonna freeze some of the ground beef. So I went to Aldi, they didn't have enchilada sauce, so I'm gonna make my own. I got some chipotle, we're gonna wing it. Some tomato sauce. Um, I grabbed two cans of this sustainably caught skipjack chunk light -like tuna in water. It was 95 cents a can some sour cream. I got another jar of this uh, four pepper salsa. I really like it and I think it'll be good in enchiladas. I know I wasn't buying more shredded cheese, but I needed this. It's cheddar Monterey Jack, a Cedro, and quesadilla. Finally chopped cheese for my enchiladas. Some parm. Oh, come on. Parmesan cheese back here. A thing of celery. Some cream for the next couple weeks for cooking and drinking my coffee. And then I have pork rind. So all that was like $22. So not bad. Now I got to make enchilada sauce or figure out how. Friends, we're going to make enchiladas keto style. So I have the oven on 350. I have a 9 by 13 pan. I made some enchilada sauce. This was a eight ounce can of tomato sauce, just unflavored. Eight ounce can of chicken broth, um, three tablespoons of butter, and then some of my homemade taco seasoning, and a little bit of 
chipotle adobo sauce, like a quarter of a teaspoon of the chipotle sauce. So I'm just gonna put some of this down at the bottom of the pan, just cause, you know, isn't this like Spanish or, yeah, Spanish tacos? I don't, or Spanish lasagna, I guess. I don't know. I'm just putting some in the bottom of the pan. I feel like it's a good idea to give them a little bit of sauce, right? Okay, so there, there we go. Now I'm using for my tortilla, these crepin, crepini egg wraps. I get this big thing at Costco. They're actually on sale right now, but I have some in my freezer. And this is what they look like. And these are like, they say zero carb, but I always count them as one. Oh, here's my taco seasoning that I made. And then in here, I did put in the mix some raw onion because it's going to cook. And this is ground beef, just plain ground beef. I put a couple tablespoons of cream cheese softened, a quarter of a cup of sour cream, and then like a quarter of a cup of salsa and mixed it up and tossed the beef and then some of this Mexican blend cheese. Done and done. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna be able to make, but I'm using a cookie scoop to just portion it out. And I feel like four scoops is gonna be good for one, right? So four cookie balls, if you will, I'm turning them in like that like that and you can use double if you want uh, double the wrap and then I'm just laying them in there like that done and then whatever's left of these because I don't know how many I'm gonna get out of this I also bought tuna for the week because I'm gonna make tuna salad I feel like these wraps if you wrap them up good in your refrigerator they last I would say if I had to guess a good week now I have already, hi buddy, I've already frozen these wraps, so I'm not going to freeze them again, but I have in the past frozen the wraps um, if I wasn't going to use them on the week. Each package comes with like 14. So all I'm going to do is continue. I do put the wrap on the bottom. I'm going to continue to do this. And... Um, package these up away when I'm done and like I said I don't know I didn't really measure out how much meat I'm gonna use I'm just gonna guess and if I run out of filling well then I will fill some with cheese maybe I don't know I gotta get better at centering these guys so one more time I'm just wrapping them that way and that it sticks Tightening it up, and I like them pretty tight, but these are, I mean, they're not like delicate like a flower, but they're definitely a delicate wrap. And then I put the wrap at the bottom. So I think I have room for like three more, maybe four more. I'll be back. Okay, everybody's wrapped up in their little blankets. We're gonna take the rest of this sauce, or most of it, probably not all of it, but we're gonna pour it over. And this is a test, I've never made this before. I mean, I've made enchiladas before, but not with these. So we're going to hope for the best. I'm going to leave a little sauce out. Because I feel like this is enough. You can make this as spicy or as not spicy as you like. Okay. Oh, and this is how I store my little tortillas. I just fold them up like a crepe. And then I can pull them out of the fridge. I will say that's probably going to last in the fridge a week. And you want to be careful because they definitely dry up. And this is just some Mexican blend cheese. All they didn't have any straight Monterey Jack, so but that's okay. Now I'm going to cover this with foil. And I'm going to bake it for like 30 minutes. It's all cooked. You just want it to like cook together. And then I'm going to take the, the top off and see what it looks like. And then we're going to try it because, ooh, it looks so good. I like cheese, guys. Sorry. There we go. And this is extra fine, so it, it looks like more than it is. All right. 
We're gonna put this in the oven after I cover it with the aluminum foil. Aluminum, that's what they call it everywhere else. And I'm gonna put it on a little tray because that's how I like to bake. I don't know if this tray is too little. There, putting it on a little tray. So if it bubbles, actually I'm gonna get one of my big trays out. If it bubbles over, it shouldn't. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Do you see it bubbling away? I just took it out of the oven. So I cooked it 30 minutes covered and about 15 minutes uncovered. We're gonna let it cool down and then we're gonna try it. <gasps> Look at that bubbling. Here we go. My keto enchilada. I can't wait to dive in. Well, looky what happened last night. I'm up in my bedroom window. And we got some snow. And I think it's supposed to do this all day long. Well, Mr. Man is sleeping in his basket. He loves this basket. Well, hello, Alexander. Hi. We're just sitting here in front of the fireplace with a cattail. I'm scooching back. Maybe I can get a picture of Mr. Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think we're done for the day. I hope you guys have a great one, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye. Okay, sorry. Cute kitty picture in front of the fireplace. Hmm? Alex. Hi, buddy. Hi, Alex. You say hi to our friends? Oh, somebody turned inside out. That's his belly. I figured you need a little kitty cat update. He is crazy, this one. And what are you doing, sir? What you doing? Hi. Hi, you say hello to our friends? Say hi.